Welcome to 5th grade math with Mr. J. Alright, so here we are at part 2 of Analyze Patterns and Relationships. If you missed part 1, I dropped the link down in the description. I highly suggest you do part 1 before going through part 2 here. Now if you went through part 1 with me, you've probably noticed part 2 looks a lot different than part 1. But in reality, we're doing the same type of thing. We have some patterns and then we're going to look at corresponding term relationships uh, within those patterns. So let's look at number one here with the X and I'll number these one and we'll go to the side for number two, three, and four. So we have a table here. We're going to write in a rule here for the corresponding terms and then we have a missing term in the pattern that goes there. So along the top, right here, we have 3, 6, 9, 12. So counting up by threes. Let's check for our relationship between corresponding terms. Remember, corresponding terms are the matching or matching pairs between the two patterns, basically, the partners. So 3 and 12, 9 and 36, 12 and 48, and then once we find the relationship, that can help find us help us find the missing piece that goes right there. So how do we get 3 equal 12? We're increasing, increasing in value, so it's either going, going to be addition or multiplication. Let's try add 9. 3 plus 9 does equal 12. Let's try it for 9 to 36. 9 plus 9, does that give us 36? No. So adding 9 does not work. Remember, it has to work for all of them. Think of a multiplication fact. How do I get 3 to equal 12? Hopefully you're thinking times by multiply by 4. 3 times 4 is 12. 9 times 4 is 36. And 12 times 4 is 48. Let's apply it to our 6 here. 6 times 4 is 24. So that's our missing piece. And then our rule is we're multiplying x by 4. Um, remember, a number next to a letter means multiply. So our rule for how to get our top terms to equal our bottom terms is we multiply our x's up here by 4 to get the corresponding term below. Let's go to number 2 here. 72 and 8 corresponding terms, 63 and 7, 54 and 6, and then we have a missing term. So 72 to equal 8, we are decreasing in value, so it's going to be subtraction or division. And this is actually going to be 72 divided by 9 equals 8. Let's try for the other ones. 63 divided by 9 does equal 7, and 54 divided by 9 does equal 6, so what's 45 divided by 9 going to give us? 5. Now, you may have been able to find, figure that number out by going 8, 7, 6, 5. That's fine if you follow the bottom pattern to figure that out, but always make sure your rule applies. Double check with the 45 divided by 9 does give me the 5. And our rule is we are taking m and dividing it by 9 to give us our corresponding terms below. Let's go to number 3. How do we get 1 to equal 23, 2 to equal 24, we have a missing piece, and then 4 to equal 26. So it's either going to be addition or multiplication because we're going up in value. Let's try addition. What can we add to 1 to give us 23? Hopefully you're thinking 22. Let's see if it works. 1 plus 22 is 23. It works for these corresponding terms. 2 plus 22 does equal 24. And then 4 plus 22 does give us 26. So let's apply our rule to our missing piece here. 3 plus 22 does give us 25 for our missing piece. And our rule is W plus 22 gives us our corresponding terms below. So if we take these W's and we add 22, 
we get the numbers below. All right, and then number four, 195, 90, 85. Looks like we're counting down by five. And we have 100 to equal 91. So we're decreasing in value, so it's gonna be subtraction or division. And this one's actually gonna be subtraction. We're subtracting nine. Let's see if it works for the other ones. 90 minus nine is 81. 85 minus nine is 76, so it works. Let's apply it to our missing piece here. 95, divide, or 95 minus nine equals 86. So our rule for the corresponding terms is r minus nine. We take the r terms, subtract nine, to give us the corresponding terms below. So there you have it, that's part two. It's basically the same thing as part one, it's just set up in table form. Um, so important words to know, corresponding terms, and just the word terms. Remember, corresponding terms are the partners. If we look at number two here, the 72 and eight, they're both the first term in the pattern. And then the word term, means your numbers in the pattern. All right, so I will see you over at the Mastery Check where you will try some of these on your own to see if you have it down. Thanks for watching.